hopefully you can see. Now, last night I managed to get several of these done. And using that, uh, this one, the light and fluffy modelling paste. Now that's what's in the giveaway. Because they're going to stand like here, above like that. I hope you can see that. But first of all, what I started to do, so I need to put those out separate and I need those as well. Let me just clear my little desk off. And that's it. Okay, so we've got all them bits off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm adding this on, which is the braid. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous braid. So I'm levelling it up with the base. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm going to do, what I'm doing. I'll just show you. See, levelling it up with that. Like I say, sorry if you can hear me breathing. It's not for any reason other than the fact that this camera's right near my face. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. Making sure that sticks in there. That's it. Yeah. And then, like I said, these things, they're going to be added to here. Or you think. I think I might put them a little bit higher than that. I think I'm going to use... Um... Right, okay. Let me just see. Start at the back. Yay! I've done it. I managed it. Let's move them out of the way. Okay, okay. Right, we've got that. Not sure if you can actually see that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Now, yada ya. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I'm going to use that because I actually love that. And I just think it'll look nice 
when it's uh, on. So, bear with me. And fasten that on there. That's fine. That's okay. I like that. And then what I can do is to do exact same thing at the bottom section as well. And then the top and the bottom bit matches. There we go. So we've got that. And remember, it's going to be black and silver. And this, and I think that looks fab. Now, before I go any further, I do have to put the um, holes back. Right, what I've done now is I've now glued this. It's a cake table, a uh, cake stand. Um, it's not very, uh, sorry, it's pink. I will paint it black. But um, we can do that now with it now because you know me i always want to do something different and i thought with the horses being there in between each horse i wanted to do oh i don't know maybe something like this with these flowers because they are gorgeous look see in between the horses because you can have decoration on can't you mm, hang on so that's the centre. We take these out. There's got to be a horse at the back, yes. And there's got to be a horse here. Now that I will melt them and take off that I had before. Same as the other side. And first of all, I think what I'll do is I'll just do that and that. Oops, where did it go? There. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I will glue them down, these bits. And... Um, Let's just have a look. Oh. Not sure what to do. I hope we've got that right. Right, I couldn't film it because it's it was too close to the camera and it was going blurred, making my camera go blurred. But what I've done is these are going to have. Uh, something in the centre when it's finished. I've put the flat back pearls either side, two in between each flower, and I've done that at the top as well, like that. So when I paint everything black, and um, uh, so this will be black, but those little bobbly bits will be silver. These will be black, then with a touch of silver. These will all be black with a pearl in the middle. I think I'm going to put a pearl in the middle of these. Um, everything else will be black. I've put this on the bottom as well, the, up the central piece. I'm going to put a little bit of braid here of some sort. I might just continue this one. I don't know yet. And now that's ready to paint. And then I can concentrate on the horses and get them all into place. Don't worry about these holes, Jane, when you see them. 
<laughs> it took me a while because I couldn't find the original holes. It took me a while to get it right, but it will be right. It's glued on, as I said, to the base, which is the cake thing, and I will paint that black and put a felt bottom section on it. I'll do a black felt bottom. <laughs> oh, God, I'm off again. No, stop, Fiona. Um, and then, like I say, these have got to be done in black, uh, silver, black, silver. One of uh, Each one of those, I think, the alternate one will be... Um, let me just see. Two... Let me see. Two, four, six. I think the alternate ones will have kind of like a a stipple effect to them just to be different and then of course i've got to put the cap on the top which is going to be and i've got one here oops perfect absolutely it's a crystal it's heavy and it's a crystal door handle and i am going to put that on the top jane and it's already black that's going to look fabulous isn't it and it's right for that so yeah I've saved that just for that project. I'm just filling my little tub up with the black paint. Uh, I'm using, where are we? The Bob Ross Black Gesso. I have told you for all newbies, you can buy it online. Um, on the net for anything from £8 upwards. I generally, I think it's now about £10 though for a bottle. It Don't go to those that sell it for more than £10-£15 because you're getting ripped off. There's a lot of people you can choose from. You don't actually need to look too far for it. But um, don't let them kid you because it, it sells for up to £85 a bottle for the same thing. It's no different to what I've just shown you. So it's Bob Ross Black Gesso. Right, I've got my brush and my piece of... Sorry, I'm gonna to have to change the angle of this camera because I can't do with it, to be honest. It's in the way. So I'm just leaving it there for now so you can see me doing this. So I'm just, everything's gonna be painted black. Um, I need to go and have my dinner. I've been so busy sorting emails. Oh, by the way, everybody, your parcels have gone out. All overseas parcels have left. Um, some left the other day and then some have left 
today. I don't have any orders left apart from two that came in this morning. Um, not this morning, two that came in the last hour. That's all I've got left, which I shall do tomorrow. And um, everybody's parcels have gone. Now, like I explained to you, remember, last week's parcels will... Um, that was the end, that was the la uh, the first week of January, which is always a, a busy time for the post office um, because it's uh, left over from the Christmas stuff or whatever. But I've sent them all economy. All overseas have gone economy, which your money's covered um, that you've paid. And... So it will be an extra week, uh, uh, maybe. You might not. I mean, they all go on the same frigging plane, so I don't know what they're talking about. But I'm just saying, all parcels have gone out. I don't have, uh, apart from the two that came in in the last hour, they're the only two parcels I have left here. They've all gone. And like I said, some went out last week. We're only posting once a week because... Um, we well, you can't go out really. We can't really go out and about. We're like stuck in. It's a nightmare. So I do thank all of those that have um, continued to buy. I don't know where some of my old ones are. Where have you gone? You buggered off and left me. That's not fair. <laughs> Uh, just before Christmas, there were loads of people. Maybe it's not time for spending yet. Probably waiting to get paid. <laughs> but come on, don't be buggering off somewhere else. Come back to me. I'm going to be putting some deals up shortly. Some big deals. Only because I need the room. I honest to God, I really do need the room. I've ended up again, I've got stuff everywhere and I've, when I say everywhere, I don't mean it's not organised, it's organised, it's just in everything. Oh, God. I just want to reduce it down to, because um, cause I only buy like six or twelve of something. Um, I, only, I want to rotate, it's time to rotate, I, I've always done it. I have so many things in. Um, I buy 6 and 12 or something and then what I do, I'll move on and let that go and won't buy them in for a while and move on to something else. Because you don't want to be seeing the same old things time and time again. That's not fun. Uh, and so what I do is uh, I try and rotate. So I rotate my stock about four times a year. It just keeps it flowing. And I've got some right deals on, so if you're missing them out, that don't blame me. Blame yourselves. <laughs> it's not my problem, not my fault. I do what I can. No, I have. I've got some really nice deals on at the moment. And a lot more to come. The deals I'm going to be bringing out, though, are not anything to do with the shop. They are because I'm getting rid of my own personal stuff. And why? Because I've got so bloody much of it. <laughs> and I really can't keep it. It's It'd be pointless. It's silly. Right, so we're just going to go in and do the backs of these. So... Oh, and I've got to do, I did say the other day, didn't I, in one of my uh, videos that I've got a drawer, and I mean I've got a drawer full of letters, different shapes, different sizes, made of wood, made from chipboard and whatnot. And I really, they've been sat there for well over, oh, five, six years, and I've never touched them for, for years. So what I'm going to do is 
I probably will get three bundles out of them and I'll just split them all. So anybody who's doing like um, junk journals and things like that, you can use them for in them sort of things. In fact, I might just start adding so many letters, a bag of letters to the junk journals as well, because I, I literally have hundreds. And uh, yeah, I, I'll never, ever, ever use them. And I just, I find it silly when I know other people, especially beginners, who would love a little bag of something to uh, work with. I'm not saying they're going to be a complete alphabet you'll get, but there'll be letters, a good mixture of letters in various materials. You know, so um, a crafter would put them to use. Or a junk journalist. Is that what they call them? Junk journalist? It's just silly me keeping them when I'm never going to use them and I, uh, I just can't stand things going to waste or being left utterly not being used. I just can't. It's just not me, I'm afraid, folks. Yeah. Oh, this is looking good. So now, and I haven't glued them down for a reason. And for that reason, you shall see shortly. Only the tops are down. It's all going to be painted black, yes, but there will be three of these triangles that will be finished in silver. Well, it's a little hard with the camera being in the wrong place when I'm trying to film and do a some uh, do a job. I might not even keep these on. Uh, these might come off and I put a fancy one on. Um, I'm using them as a guide at the moment. That's why I didn't want to pin them down. No fear, Jane, it will all be done and revealed shortly. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to make sure that, you see these have got holes in them, so you need to put the holes back. You...
Right, as soon as I've done this, I'm going to load this one up as part three. And then um, I can't do anything until it dries out properly. In the morning, in the um, real light, I will go over any spaces I have missed and black. And then we can start and... Uh, I'm going to do all the horses black first as well. So they will also be done. So you've missed some there. You can see as it dries where you've missed it. When it hits a certain light. Oops, sorry to apologise. Hope you've been able to see it. I want to make sure they're straight. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that these are done properly. But like I say, I can go over it in the morning, um, in the daylight, and see what needs doing. There does look to be a fair bit on it that needs sorting out. Which, then it'll only take an hour to dry from there. You know, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I spotted that there. Where the holes are in here, I just don't want them to uh, be blocked. And once they're dry, they're fine then, I can sort them out. Oops. I'll move them forward a little bit. I mean, they don't have to be fully open, but uh, I want the... You, when I put the silver on, you'll be able to see those. That's it. I can see little areas that need sorting out, but that's fine. Like I said, tomorrow morning, I can see it in the daylight and we'll be able to sort that out. And then it won't take long to dry. But while these are wet, I want them to dry forward slightly. And I think that's it. I think we've got them. I think they're all done now. So I really, um, apart from doing the underbelly side of it now, which if I can grab it by that, now I can do this bit. Oh, let me see. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going to be hard. Sorry, but I might have to turn this off and do it. But I will try.
Right, I'm going to take it, uh, the camera off just to give it um, a different angle for you. But for now, I'm just going to stop there. And um, anything I've missed, I will catch up with it, with it in the morning. See, like that. I know, ignore the desk, it's a mess. But yeah. So I shall be back in the morning with part four. Bye-bye for now.